To create a circle or polygon, you simply click once for the center, pull away, and click again to establish the radius. You can type in an exact radius as well. Draw a circle or polygon, type in the radius you need, and hit the Enter key to accept. You can also change the number of sides as well. Draw a polygon or circle, then type in a number followed by the letter S and hit the Enter key. So 8S creates 8 sides. Type 5S for 5 sides. As you can create polygons or circles with the same number of sides, you may wonder what the difference is between these tools. So let's create a polygon and circle each with 10 sides. The difference comes when you pull the shapes into 3D. You can see that the circle creates a cylinder that is smooth and the polygon shows the segments. By default, the circle tool has 24 sides and the polygon has 6. If you change the number of sides, the tool will remember that preference when you select the tool again, so make further changes as needed. After drawing a circle or polygon, you can reference the center by hovering over the edges for a few moments, then SketchUp will infer to the center of the polygon or circle. You can get information on the circle or polygon by right-clicking on the edge or surface and choosing to view the entity info. Viewing the info of a surface will give you the total area, and selecting the edge will show you the radius and number of sides, which can be changed in the dialog box. To help you draw a circle or polygon in any orientation, the tool will align itself with any surface you hover over. You can also lock an orientation by hovering over one surface, then pressing and holding the Shift key and moving away. As long as you hold the Shift key down, you will stay locked. Simply release the key to unlock and choose a new orientation.